Good evening, everybody. I'm Steve Shamraz. Welcome once again to the now Milwaukee. Transgender students back in the spotlight after the Trump administration has rolled back a rule about how those students should be treated in schools. The now's Lauren Winfrey shows us how the rules could now vary from school to school. Steve, the rights of transgender students to use restrooms and locker rooms that match their gender identity may no longer be protected by federal law. And the LGBTQ advocates I spoke with say they're concerned the doors of access they fought to open may be closing, leaving students at risk. Kids are going to die because of this, to be honest. That's what UW-Milwaukee sophomore student Elijah Walker thinks of a move to reverse instruction outlined by the Obama administration regarding transgender students' bathroom use. This isn't creating a safe environment for trans students and it's othering them further and it's, it's just, it's criminalizing trans bodies. The decision by the Justice and Education Departments overturns guidance from the Obama administration. Under that directive, a federal law known as Title IX would protect the rights of transgender students to use restrooms and locker rooms that match their gender identities. It's very disheartening that uh, the Trump administration does not recognize that this is a civil rights issue and that it really should be addressed at the federal level. But all hope isn't lost for transgender resource specialist Shelley Gregory. She says many school districts have worked hard to support their students and hope this continues regardless of the Trump administration rolling back federal protections for transgender students. Milwaukee public school system has done a great job with its gender inclusion policy recognizing that individuals simply need to have access to the restroom that's appropriate for their gender identity. Over 200 school districts in the state of Wisconsin have put in policies to protect transgender students, and advocates say they hope this is something they see happen across the country. Reporting in Milwaukee for The Now, I'm Lauren Winfrey.